The fact that both Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, and JP Morgan, the largest bank in the United States, have stated that they believe stablecoin regulations will be approved within the next two months, just in time for the elections in November, is something that everyone else finds to be fairly comical. Oh no, is it just me? To begin, I believe that this is a pretty strong indication that Ripple and JP Morgan are moving closer to one another compared to what they give off. And I demonstrate in this film three significant pieces of evidence that JP Morgan is currently and will continue to assist in sending XRP's prize to the moon. In the first place, this post from Cyprus claims that it is significantly more significant than most people believe it to be. MasterCard is making an effort to educate people about the benefits and drawbacks of CBDCs as well as how to make use of them in a manner that is not only secure but also simple and beneficial. Is bringing together a number of well-known companies in the fields of blockchain technology and payment services to become members of its brand new partner program. This is highly significant news and it should come as no surprise that Ripple is included on that list of leading blockchain and payment providers at the end of the day. MasterCard collaborates with Ripple. Then there is this picture which depicts the executive vice president of blockchain and digital assets at MasterCard discussing the significance of the technology for both the public and private sectors. To collaborate closely in order to discover how blockchain technology may be utilized to address issues that are present in the real world. Once more, this is incredibly crucial information that you should keep in mind while we brag about this green shot and discuss it. The proof of concept for the RSN regulated self-management network will be overseen by an organization known as the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association, SIFM. Among the companies that will be contributing to this endeavor are Citibank, JP Morgan, MasterCard, and SWIFT. In addition to Zions, Bancorp, and the Lloyd, TD Bank, NA, US Bank, USDF, Wells Fargo, Visa, and the Lloyd. We are going to provide adversarial services, and the participants want to contract two other vendors in order to supply the proof of concept with the necessary technology, infrastructure, and information regarding legal research. In the next section, additional information is provided regarding this proof of concept, as well as the institutions and partners that are contributing to it. However, the topic that I would want to emphasize in this piece is that the majority of the institutions are already well known to be Ripple partners, and one of those institutions is JP Morgan. Working on the U.S. controlled settlement network with our corporate partners and the government is a wonderful experience for Amanda C.R. Morgan, senior product manager at Visa Money Women. She expressed her excitement about the opportunity. This is extremely significant news. You should watch this movie all the way through because it has a great deal of information about the connections between JP Morgan and Ripple. The significance of these kinds of studies lies in the fact that they enable individuals to acquire a deeper understanding of the cryptocurrency market and the forthcoming modifications to rules. I have created a room on Discord that is open to anyone and everyone, and at the moment we are all working together to acquire additional information. Participating in the True Crypt plan is recommended for everyone who is interested in being a part of what will be the largest wealth transfer in the history of the world. We are continuing expanding at a rapid rate. There are currently 280 people and counting, and we are gaining a great deal of knowledge. To become a member of the family, simply leave a comment below and then click on the link that is provided below. It should not come as a surprise that the second link is JP Morgan, which is the second link. The second quarter of 2025 is when Neom has stated that they will go public in the United States. In addition, here is something that is quite remarkable. Neom and JP Morgan both utilized XRP. You can see that Neom has already said they are utilizing XRP in their operations. This is a list of financial institutions that have relocated to Neom. Many financial institutions like Barclays, Inpay, DBS Bank, JP Morgan, Metropolitan Commercial Bank, and others are increasingly moving their operations online. Having said that, the second connection is particularly significant because it demonstrates that JP Morgan is not opposed to the utilization of XRP. There is a possibility that JP Morgan will deal with XRP through Neom and other platforms such as R3 Quarter. At first glance, they will not reveal their strategy to you, thus you will need to follow the breadcrumbs, which is exactly what we have done. The fact that JP Morgan, Ripple, and XRP are all being discussed at the same moment, however, cannot be considered a coincidence any longer. Can be found in this post. During this panel discussion about interoperability, interviews are conducted with members of Ripple's multi-chain network as well as Axlar. Ripple will keep tokenized real-world assets on its balance sheet, and they discuss how Axlar is a multi-chain distribution mechanism for Ripple's foreign consumers. Additionally, they discuss how Ripple will deal with tokenized assets. In the event that you are unaware, the CEO of Axlar just stated that they anticipate seeing $50 trillion going on chain with them through the XRP ledger very soon. This is extraordinary, extraordinary news. Additionally, they assert that Axlar is possible to include stable coins that have yields into the XRP ledger. One after another, they emphasize the significance of regulations in their discussion. Considering that stable coins and rules are being discussed concurrently could prove to be a convenient arrangement. Both the CEO of Ripple and JP Morgan believe that stablecoin legislation will be enacted within the next two months. Furthermore, they believe that this will occur. Once more, if you ask me, it's all about relaxation and good fortune. In addition to this, Project Guardian was a major topic of discussion because it was considered to represent significant evidence of. Those of you who arrive late, the project that we are discussing right now is JP, Morgan's Project Guardian. We ask that you please take a moment to listen attentively to this, as well as to what Ripple Partner has to say. 
Observe the actions that JP Morgan took with Project Guardian as well as the actions that Deutsche Bank is taking with Project Guardian at the moment. They are going to showcase the work that they are doing with Axelera in the month of November. Until they provide more information about what they are attempting to accomplish with this proof of concept, you should probably wait. On the other hand, this crap is, as you would say, putting us on the brink. It is almost as if we are finally attaining the fundamental components in it. At this point, things are very much improving. It is for this reason that I believe we are genuinely thrilled about it. Additionally, we believe that Ripple has the potential to become one of the primary locations where larger financial institutions begin tokenizing new types of assets like cryptocurrencies. We believe that there will be more than one blockchain in the world, and because of this, interoperability will be of utmost importance in order to facilitate the movement of buyers and customers between the many blockchains. If I were an investor, would it be more beneficial for me to be a part of three or four private chains, or would I want to just be able to access all of the various goods and services through the public chain? One may argue that interoperability is essential, yet in the end I would like to have a single window through which I can view all of my data, actions, and other information. It is clear that a public chain provides us with all of the tools and fresh ideas that we require in order to accomplish this. From the perspective of the customer, it is the case. In the context of our project, the most important issue that we are attempting to answer is whether or not it is feasible to incorporate a permission layer into a public chain in order to make it more controlled. Then in order to make it more durable, is it possible for us to implement it on layer two, which is on top of the permission layer? This is the situation that we are looking at in the pressure yard. It is not something that the employees at JP Morgan will say out loud, but I have to show you three right now. There are several pieces of evidence that demonstrate how Ripple is connected to their partnerships and to JP Morgan. It is abundantly evident to me that JP Morgan will use XRP and it is likely that they currently do so. At some point in the future, they will also assist in sending its worth to the moon. I am curious to know your thoughts on the matter. The free Discord room link provided below is a place where you may chit chat, learn more and have fun. Keep in mind that you should contemplate the long term and I'll see you in the next one.